being a drill sergeant is very very rewarding but then again it is very very tiring but it's time to say goodbye to someone very special This is just on Celestine. Hey. I'm so glad you got that when I shoot this hat up. I know. I told you I was gonna bring it. It's gonna be epic. This is her last day on the trail. Yeah. Oh my god, if you don't put the batteries in that shit. They see me rolling. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you so much. I can't. If you don't put the batteries in that damn radio. What are you gonna do about it? You don't have to worry about it for the next few days. I'll be in the camera. Okay. Who's driving you home? Hey, Raven Girl. Point range. It is. This is the at doses. Oh. Alright, here we go. Here we are. <laughs> hi, hi. Yes, we're acting very happy, which we are, but I can tell you it is a very, very sad day in Echo Company. We're losing one of the best drills I know. My ears! Here. Because it is. Will you sign my yearbook? <laughs> oh my god! Hey, I'm gonna go with uh, Jake Cullen first. This is Drill Sergeant Brown. How do you how do you feel about uh, Drill Sergeant Steve leaving? I'm happy to leave. <laughs> <laughs> she has been a thorn in my side since I got here. Wow! I have been waiting for this day to come. Wow. It couldn't it have came like any sooner. Up. It is. It is. It's gonna be in the background. It is. I need I need the, my backdrop for my little confession. Let me tell you about this. <laughs> I gotta bleep out everything on this one. First of all, <laughs> how do you feel about your sister Leah? This is just on Furic. It's a sad day. Yeah. Oh, there, that's some real. Sad day, Frank. We're coming to Fort Thank it is. God. Someone loves me. Thank God. Oh yeah. yeah. How do you feel about? I didn't think this yes. time would ever come. I honestly didn't. I've been I've been patiently awaiting this day, and now I can't wait to break out to actually do our jobs. Okay. Can someone ask me? You can just flip hey, your camera and ask you yourself. This I like because it's not a thing right there. Okay. So how do you feel mm. about <laughs> Jill Sarnes leaving? I love her. I wanna miss you. Oh. I did. That train he woke up quick. Leave one out. We didn't leave yet. Just it's one out. Okay. Sad day. It is a good day. It, it is, is a sad good, day. Oh, See, told me I gotta bring my camera tonight. Burr, 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 burr. It's a good day in Echo Four Three Nine. Make me a vlog so I can keep it with me. So I'll talk about it a little bit more at the end of the clip and everything like that. But this is the last day Drill Sergeant Celestine will be a Drill Sergeant. Um, she will yeah. go to the SLC and everything like that. But this is what she decided to do her very last day. And it was a very good moment, family moment, that we were all together. She has to be one of the most motivating girls ever. Regardless if she doesn't want to be there sometimes. Yeah. Or she does. She puts on that Fuck face and up, she's very motivating. So we're going to miss her so much. Fuck it up!
Let me just do one bound. One no. Bound. No. Okay, right here. One second. No. Okay, okay, okay. Don't gonna, leave me. We're gonna take that in for just let it. Don't leave me. <laughs> if you cry, I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> Don't I'm go cry. Don't you fucking cry. Like, Don't leave me. You act like I'm not gonna be here. Hey, no, you, be you better not heal. <laughs> Damn it. It's yeah. happening. <laughs> I, I, I don't oh, know what that is. It's hot. It's hot. My eyes are sweating. It's making me sweat. It's oh, making me sweat. It's hot. It really is sweating. You better put uh, off the carpet. All right. So we are going to re record this clip just because um, the one I made before I didn't really like. It wasn't really coming from the heart and it was just me talking really quick. Um, especially since I know Joe Sarnes, he's probably gonna watch this. I wanted her to really understand how I felt. So um, today, as you guys can tell, it was actually a little while ago, we lost one of the best Joe Sarnes that I've ever had the pleasure of working with. Um, she is an amazing drill sergeant, amazing friend, amazing sister, and she's just one of the greatest people I've actually ever met or encountered in my whole military career. Um, so let's start off how like I kind of met drill sergeant C. So I met drill sergeant C. It was the very beginning, and it was just her already working because the first day I I came on the trail was actually a field exercise. It was the hammer. So um, we already talked about how I counted her, but I was like. Yep, this is real. This is just RC. This is how she's gonna be like, which is a great way, um, especially since I was new on the trail. I wanted to see how I should be. So, coming along the way, um, working with her and her just like mentoring me along the way. There's a cycle, I think it was my third cycle, and um, still at E5 and all that stuff, but she sat me down one day and she gave me this little motivation talk about, you know, being able to put in the work and doing it 100% regardless if I'm at E5. Uh, and, and me just taking charge, again, regardless of um, E5, because rank doesn't have a lot to do when you're a drill sergeant, but it still somewhat does. So, um, she sat me down, she motivated me, and she was like, this is what you gotta do. You gotta put in the work, regardless, regardless, regardless of what you think, you know, you need to be the one that, especially when it's your duty week, you gotta step up, you gotta be the one saying, hey, this is what you gotta do. Even if you don't think it's the right call, make a call. So if it wasn't for her and giving me that little talk, um, that little mom talk, I don't think I would have became just out of the cycle my third year. It was still the beginning, but it was my third, or my third year, my third cycle. It was still the beginning, but it was my third cycle where I actually became just on the cycle against all my other peers as E5. I became just on the cycle. And if it wasn't for her, I really don't think I would have gone in it. And now moving on through the years, she still pushes me here and there and like tells me, hey, you could do a little bit better. And when I disappoint her, I know like it's, it's really hard on me because she looks, uh, she makes me not, like she makes me think that I can do a lot better than I am doing. So whenever I do something wrong or I'm not putting too much effort, it's like, all right, I need to slap myself into gear because Joe Sarnsi is watching because that's my mentor. I don't want to do anything wrong or anything wrong to fail her, you know? So yeah, if it wasn't for her and working and putting in the work and all that stuff, I don't think I would have been able to become a senior drill sergeant of my next cycle and all that stuff. I really don't think I would have been able to. But because of her actually pushing me, pushing me, pushing me every single cycle, I now I'm gonna become a, a senior drill sergeant. So moving along the way, um, not just she's a great mentor in general, uh, because she is, and a great drill sergeant, she's a really good friend, a really good sister. And if it wasn't for her and her family, the Celestines, I don't think I would be in the place where I am right now because they were the people if I needed help regardless of what it was I can call them and he would be there in a second like no matter how far they were like she like just like Celestine would come to me if I needed her um the Celestines have have been there with me through the roughest toughest times I have or I have probably encountered in my life and that regardless of how far Hard, how far we are distance or regardless of how long it's been since we talk I will always be there for the South Seas. I'll always be there for um, Tanika <laughs> I'll always be there for Mindy and I'll always be there for Dino no matter what happens like if you guys call me and you guys need something I'll, I'll do my best to do whatever you guys need me to do because you guys are family like the South Seas, like no one will understand no one will understand except for them how much how much they're really family to me and that I'm really grateful to encounter people like them in my life because they are like truly, really like 
good-hearted people. Like it's it's tough love whenever they need me tough love, but they are really good-hearted people that I that there probably needs to be a lo lot more people like that in the world. <laughs> but um, pretty much to the solid scenes, I will always be here for you guys because I know you guys will always be there for me, and y'all have helped me through like the, one of the roughest times in my life. Uh, pulled me in whenever I needed help or just whenever I wanted to go out you guys came with me and all that stuff um, Your dogs. I love your dogs. They're my everything But pretty much just on Celestine. I'm gonna say you're gonna be very missed in the company Yeah, it's been a few weeks already and I'm telling you you're very missed in the company and uh, Mindy we miss your food, but I can say many of you are just like another sister to me and I will listen to Tanika next time when she tells me never to drink with you because I cannot handle the way you drink. <laughs> but um, I don't say you guys, I love you guys and I will always be here for you. You're going to be very missed in the company but I know you can do very great things once you finish SLC and become an E7, a Star First Class. You are someone I look up to and you will always be my mentor. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Everyone congratulate uh, Josiah Celsius for making it on the E7 board and about to be an E7 after she graduated SLC and to finishing her trail time with no bad repercussions. Alright, <laughs> I'll see you guys later.